old Bob 10025 review of the Hunchback 4J, or I like to call it, the Missile Machine Gun. Welcome back, YouTubers. This is Old Bob 10025 with a review of the Hunchback 4J, or as I like to call it, the Missile Machine Gun. Pretty much this one, um, yeah, every match I played in, literally I got minimum 400 points. It's just it, one, th one of the things you have to do with this is make sure you use the quirks for it, which I'll show you in just a little bit. Uh, basically, it's it's um, it's a 50 ton mech. You can just go to a store and go purchase one like real quick. Um, I'm not gonna buy one, but I'll show you like what it looks like though. Let's just go to a store and get a uh, hunchback. Where they at? Where they at? Here they are. And it's a 4J, so it basically costs about 15, 15 for mark order credits, or 3,778,604 for the for the normal C bills. Generally, you just want to use C bills. That'd be okay. I wouldn't I wouldn't purchase with normal like you know, mark order credits because that'll probably be about be about 15 bucks with the mark order credits. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, about that because you have to go spend it twice. So, but but just in general though, uh, what it comes with is not that good. So you have to upgrade this thing. So I'm gonna show you what what it comes with. It can fire six six energy. A lot of people use it for the six energy, which is good. But you're wasting the quirks that the beautiful quirks that this thing has. It has two missile, one anti missile, zero ECM, and zero ballistics. But the quirks is what makes this the best thing. Energy cooldown plus 15. Laser duration negative 15 missile heat generation negative 12 LRM heat ge generation negative 12 so that's 24 or, or actually 25 percent uh, less in, in missile heat which is good because this shoots off like a machine gun uh, the the energy heat generation negative 15 missile cooldown negative or plus 25 and LRM cooldown plus 25 so that's 50 percent so it halves Excuse me. It halves the missile cooldown for for like what it is. I believe it's 3.75 for LRM10, so it brings it down to like 1.5, you know, 1.3 or something like that. So, excuse me. That's an awesome, awesome cooldown. I'll show you like when I go play the. Uh, when I play uh, a, a match, just how fast this thing fires. And if you and if you have an LRM tilt, LRM10 cooldown module, gives an extra plus t or plus 12 percent. I mean 62 percent. This thing is gonna just fire off like crazy. But that's generally like the quirks. You generally want to stick with the quirks if you can. A lot of people, like I said, do do use it as a energy mech, which they put the three, the the three. Um, like three large pulse lasers in the right torso and maybe like one or two like in in the head and all that kind of stuff in the in the arms of just normal medium lasers and use it as an energy uh, mech but you're wasting those beautiful quirks as far as like LRM 10s uh, you want to keep with that trust me it's be really, it'll be really nice uh, I'll show you what it comes with naturally let's go view mech lab unfortunately it only comes with a little bit of stuff like the upgrades has nothing um, Oh, well, right now, yeah, base has ferro fibrous. You need double endo steel and, and and plus Artemis. The main thing you want to do is definitely get Artemis for this. I don't, I think it costs about 125,000, but I could, oh, 250,000. So that's one of the things you definitely want to do. That will increase your your chance to go hit things, and actually your spread will be less and everything else. You definitely want to do that. Um, it's one of the um, the main things. If you ever have any type of missile mech, you want to have Artemis. Period. Um, as far as as far as everything else gives you the two gives you the the two missiles here, which they don't have for some serious reason. I don't know why they don't have that there. LRM ammo, but I don't know something happened. But but like anyways, it's a pretty good mech. It's 50 tons. Oh, okay, they took him out. That's why, for some strange reason, I don't want to do that. But okay, <laughs> there we go. Okay, two a two LRM tens, and then with the quirks and everything else, brings it to plus 50, and then uh, plus 50 cooldown, and then heat generation negative 20 or negative 25 percent. It's a good thing. Trust me, that's a that's an awesome thing. Uh, let's go back. I'll show you what I did with mine. Let's go to my mech lab here. Let's go to home. I pretty much made it into a pretty cool looking red mech, red for death I guess, red goes faster if you know that if you know that concept, red definitely goes faster, it's from 40k if you, if you guys ever play that. Um, I'm going to go to mech lab real quick and show you what I did with mine. Obviously it went to Artemis, first thing I did is actually the upgrades. I went to standard fair fibers because I, uh, I didn't have the slots for it, so I just went that way, the heat sinks definitely doubled. Now. It works both ways. You can go with um, both ways. I found that basically heat sinks. Um, you have to 
just quirk you have to quirk uh, your your mech a little bit to go make a work it, it's just kind of weird how, how the works I got the endo steel because I needed the extra um, I, I needed extra weight and then the uh, obviously the Artemis it gives me lock time boost 50 percent track and strength 50 percent missile spread 66 percent that's a good thing for a mech like this okay on the head medium laser center torso I got a beagle active probe for one reason is it speeds up targeting like data and gives me range boost and everything else just what I need so plus counters like you see it might help um, in case a uh, in case another mech comes in range I can go and counter his automatically so that'd be good uh, that's that that's what I got for that um, then the I got the two LRM tens with a case I had half a ton left I had nothing else to do with it so I, so I decided on that also went the the XL 250 that's what I had in the bank I could go with something else I just haven't got around to actually purchasing one yet can go all the way up to a, uh, hold on a second. a 275, but that's 14 tons. It would be about, what, 1.5 tons more? I don't want to do that because then I have to go sacrifice missile power. And, I mean, right now I move at literally, what, what is it, 81? 81 speed. So that's not bad at all. That's not a bad thing, especially for this type of mech here. The right torso, obviously, two LRM tens, two LRM. Uh, the LRM like ammo and case, obviously engine 250, left torso, same thing, LRM, LRM, right arm, medium laser, left arm, medium laser. So this mech has three medium lasers and two LRM 10s. And it, 35 firepower, but your firepower is, is going to be in, hold on, my cat's in the way here. Your firepower is going to be in the uh, in the missile itself. So, so right now with every, oh, let me get him out of the way here, I can't see my screen. There we go. Sorry about that. So, so your firepower is going to be in your missiles themselves, and that's one thing you want to have as much, much LRM ammo as you can store on that baby. And I obviously got it in my legs as well too. So I have about 1,440 missiles. That goes by quick, really quick, especially with your load time of. Right now it's 3.75, so half that. Right now, if I put a module on there, it'd be even even more. So it's cra it's crazy fast. Fires like a uh, fires like a machine gun, like I like to recall it. it has a missile machine gun, and that's you know that's that's what I did with that. Now the weapon groups, I went to the two LRM tins. It's a it's a simple design. Just went with the two LRM tins on that, and the three medium lasers on the first button. The camo spec, obviously, you get whatever you want. Uh, they got some cool designs, but I didn't want to spend any, any mech order credits for anything like, like right there. And the cockpit, I put some stuff in there as well. But I mean, all in all, I have to say this is one of the better mechs out there. I think I shaved off some armor points. Yeah, here I just had to. I had to go ahead and uh, um, I didn't have enough. Uh, I could take off the case and do that. And save uh, save a little bit, but I figure 40 is good because I'm not going to be a brawler. This is not a brawler mech whatsoever. You, you know, I mean, I, I could get in and out with an 81 speed pretty quickly for a medium mech, and then also I'm pretty much on the outskirts of where everything's happening. The heat's 1.2, 1.27, so mainly I'm only going to be using the LRM tens constantly, which is which I think I get about seven or eight volleys before I, I actually go into critical heat. So, I mean, seven or eight volleys is really good, and then you just kind of just stop for a second or two, and then you keep on going again. And then once I'm in range, since everything's going to be 180 like meters, I can't fire this thing. Or, what is it, uh, max range, minimum range, there's minimum range on this, I think it's 180. But like 180, then I go to the, the medium lasers. Medium lasers, I can just go ahead and, you know, I have three medium, so hopefully I'll knock something out. I did one game, I got four kills, three from the uh, three from the LRMs and one from just a medium laser fight. But he was already damaged just a little bit, so kind of, you know, I kind of cheated there, I guess. <laughs> Who knows? But, but yeah, that's 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 one thing about the Hunchback 4J. It's one of the better medium interstellar mechs as far as the Hunchback family. Now the other families, now the other Hunchbacks. Obviously, I haven't tried these yet, but I will. I will be trying these. Uh, just give me a little bit to go try them. But I mean. All in all, I think I think the Hunchback is one of the better mechs out there, um, as far as design. Um, I mean, literally the mech, the uh, one second. The center torso armor is 54. I could bring this down by two and then add that to 56. Because generally, well, nah, I'll probably just just keep it at 10, just be uh, safe there. So that's you know, then the Beagle Active Probe gives me an extra um, uh, speeds up targeting data which I need. And then obviously you could go with your modules. Now the modules I picked 
for this is obviously radar deprivation, which is one of the things you have to have in any type of mech. It's one of the, it's it saved my ass so many times you won't even believe. Because if a, if a person locks on with a missile, you just got to get out of their line of sight. And once you do that, boom, it um, just keep on moving back and missiles will will miss you. And that's one of the things I love about it. Then obviously uh, a cooldown time of from medium lasers, negative 12%. That's one of the uh, other modules. UAV and improved airstrike. Um, once you can, um, let's see, unlocked my weapons. The like I said, you do you go with the LRM 10 cooldown. I think it brings it up to 10 or 12 percent more. So I mean, it's one of the things that it's up to you if you want to go blow through your ammo really quickly. Trust me, you'll see on the, uh, on one of my games I blow through it like crazy. And then the, the range, you don't really need the range. It's not really worth it for an extra 100 meters because it only gets I think like 10 percent. It's not really like worth it. I mean, there's cooldown I already have on there, and then the range, maybe the range I would say probably be a good one but it just all depends um, as far as the extra slot for mech modules I don't know I go with the extra zoom I guess extra zoom might be nice for four for four times zoom or advanced sensor range just um, I'd probably say just either targeting DK or targeting info gathering part of your best bet if you do have it um, yeah targeting info gathering for a missile mech will be superb now um, yeah I would actually go with that instead of actually the one I just I just have, but I don't have it though. So I don't have it yet, but I will be getting it though. But Zoom, I might go with. Yeah, actually, yeah, I'll, I'll put Zoom on there. Like, why not? No, nothing, didn't show anything. But, but I mean, all in all, this mech gives me about 400, 500 points per game. The thing you do have to watch out for on this mech is is when the fast mechs come towards you. You really you only have three meeting lasers, and it's hard. Um, it's hard to kill the little bastards. But um, I would say that you stick behind the assault mechs it might be a good idea and just missile people to death um, the armor 3 320 and 338 speed jump distance obviously none and the engine XL 250 now with the engine you could go with a um, standard engine let's see here you can go with like a 275 if you want to that's 21 tons you're gonna lose a lot of stuff though and plus also this this XL 250 has 10 heat sinks compared to this one only has okay ten. Never mind. Or go to two hundred only has eight, but you got to add two more. So, you if you go with a two hundred, you're going to move at sixty four. That means that um, you're going to lose one ton, or actually you're going to gain one ton, but you got to put two tons in heat sinks. It only has eight, so you're going to lose a ton of ammo. I would just say just stick with the XL like engine two fifty is fine for for like what I got to do. Eighty one speed's good. Um, yeah, 81 speed is awesome. Actually, it's not it's not bad at all. And then uh, obviously the cat in the way. Obviously the uh, the ammo and everything else. You want to keep as much ammo as freaking possible because this thing blows through it. But anyways, I'm gonna go show you like everything that's going on. I really appreciate you watching. Thank you and uh, check out this uh, check out the uh, the 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 match. I'll go ahead and show you and show you like what what it can do. Okay, thank you very much, and I'll see you on the flip side. Welcome back, and uh, right now we're just gonna load up our mech and kind of figure out what's what's going on here. So let's go and uh, right now I'm I'm trying to figure out uh, where I'm at on the map. Unfortunately, I'm down below, so I decided to turn around, which I should have done. I should have actually uh, uh, watched with the rest of the guys, but I don't know like I uh, don't know this map that well as far as this side. The other side I know pretty well, so that kind of helped me out there. But I'm like, okay, well, how far do I go? <laughs> But uh, just yeah, just running up the middle mountain here. I mean, at 81, I wasn't too worried about climbing this hill um, at 81 miles per hour because I, I have the XL250 on there. But um, yeah, so I decided to you know make a left-hand turn and kind of follow everyone else. But what I couldn't understand, you'll see like later on, I noticed a bunch of our mechs were in the background. Then I kind of noticed our base was being attacked. So that's like half our team pretty much went that way, and that usually happens. It's like everyone uh, screams squirrel and just everyone chases after the light mech trying to kill him which unfortunately they shouldn't do but a lot of them do and that's one thing I noticed in a lot of the uh, mech warrior games they go ahead and uh, it's like half the teams one guy run around like, go get him go get him but you know you should probably just send the lights uh, the four lights that you have on your team just go and just annihilate that person that's what they should do but a lot of people don't but who knows I don't know Target. yeah right now I'm trying to get in position as you see, I'm, I'm gonna. I lost my lock on him, 
And one thing you notice as LRM mech, uh, a lot of people don't keep their locks. Um, you know, for the love of God, guys, please keep your locks. It helps LRM mechs like crazy. Uh, because uh, one of the things, we can't really see them unless you guys lock them. Once we lock them in place and I'm not behind a building, you can actually fire and go and go shoot like crazy. And that's what I'm doing here. I think we get there. Yeah, we got him there. <clears throat> and this catapult, I'm pretty much shooting. Um, I'm going forward too. And if you notice, um, if you go forward, it gets a little bit more momentum. At least I think. I'm pretty sure it does. That way, in case you hide behind, hide behind like something, I can get, I get a, get a better angle so like on him. And uh, this guy, I don't get a lock on that much. And to the right side, there's two mechs over there, which I'm trying to avoid. I'm trying to keep that building in, in between, um, in between me and them. As you see, uh, I think it's Victor. But I'm too sure. I'm looking behind me to figure out what's going there. on with the with the mech at our base. You see, like most of our guys okay. are sitting there, and decided to go ahead and assault this battle master. And I get a lot, a lot of good hits on him later on. I mean, as you see, I mean, this thing just freaking fires like a machine gun, which is cool. I love that thing. And this guy right there, he kept on popping up, and he has radar derp, and so I couldn't really keep the locks on him unless someone else sees him. <clears throat> so, so I'm, I, I, I'm kind of. Hopefully get it, get the building between me and him. That way he's not going to hit me with the Gauss rifle. I think he has a Gauss rifle. And with this guy, what is he? Yeah, him. Um, yeah, I'm just normally when you have LRMs, if you see him moving, you still got to lock on him, and you're still going to do some damage. If he stops, that means you're really not going to do much damage. You see how he's running now, and he stopped. He pretty much he's done. He hit behind a building. That way I'm trying to get into a better angle as as well, so I'll be able to hit him like um, on a side angle. Catapult, yeah, I'm uh, just nailing catapult. For some reason, he liked to jump up there, and once he got a lock on him, I just unload on him. But for LRMs, man, for guys, please, please keep your locks. This one, of the, and he has radar derp, so I can't really do much against him. Plus, also, there's someone around, um, someone around with the ECM. So the ECM is an LRM killer, which unfortunately sucks. So this battle master, as I told you like before, he kept on running out in the middle of the field, which is the dumbest thing you can do, especially with all these different missiles piling down on him. I mean, as you can tell, there's a crap load of missiles on him. <laughs> I think this one was a missile map. This one's a pretty good missile map. If you're a light mech, definitely use the buildings. Uh, the, the buildings are one of the things that you could stop missile mechs. You see, I'm trying to, get, trying to get into cover from the right side. Plus, our team is advancing that way as well. And I'm trying to keep behind our team, so um, so one of the things you definitely should do um, if, you, if you're playing this type of mech, two guys go there. behind the guys. guys. Don't right go side. into into a big battle um, unless you run out of like LRMs. And then I use my three medium lasers, which you'll see like later on. Do we got some guys at the base? Getting stuck yeah, on this guy here. Again. Okay, just just have the lights. Seeing if I can actually go shoot the locust, but by the time I actually shoot the guy, I think he's already dead. Yeah, he's he's. Pretty much done. I don't have an angle above the building, Never mind. <laughs> but you see a couple guys from the background that that came from the uh, came from the tunnel. But our guys back there were going to take care of this guy. I don't know why he jumped out there. But of course, like I said, radar derp deprivation, like whatever it's called, that thing is just the derp. one module you okay. have to have. Okay. And luckily, with this, um, with the Beagle. I Beagle active probe, I'm able to go ahead and get locks faster. So I keep it on one guy. If you notice if he's moving or not, yeah, okay, he's is he moving. Yeah, he's not moving, so he's probably behind a building. Oh, okay, he's moving now. So he's so he's trying to get in the cover from all my missiles. If you notice, uh, as an LRM pilot, definitely you see the guy moving, okay. then he's trying to get in cover. You still got some shots on him. Unfortunately, I fired way too quickly. Acquired. Yeah, losing locks like crazy, unfortunately. And I decided to get closer. Because once I get a beat on somebody, then then it's all over. Target. And also, too, like when I'm going this way, target. when I'm moving towards a target, I try to get in, into a better angle, um, so that my my missiles will curve to hit him. Yeah, I don't I don't know how to explain that. And that this guy's gonna die. This is my first kill here. I got three kills this game. Yeah, th this guy's done. He just went open. He should have actually. He's, he feels, <laughs> yeah, he's just dead. Coming in now. He's dead, pretty much. 
this next guy now I run out of missiles so I go okay fine it's clobber time I need to go with with my three medium lasers so I decided to come on the right side of this guy hit the griffin that's right here hit him turn around if I can hit him with my two arms which doesn't do much because I'm not really too good at like actually turning someone's hit me in the back which kind of sucks but but I'm a, I'm a full health hunchback which is the greatest thing because I could actually um, by this time people have no health and so me coming in at a full health mech because I've been behind everybody I can hit him with three medium lasers and take a beating as well and that's what I've been trying to do okay. this guy's getting hit bad he's almost core too I'm trying to hit him in his middle in his center torso there you go right there good game guys and the game. last guy I think that's it is that it yeah, that's it. So that's game. I uh, just want to let you know this Hunchback 4J is a freaking awesome, awesome mech. And we're going to get to the scores r real quick. Let's see, Triskin has four, I can't even see this, 428, two kills, I think eight, eight assists. I could barely see this on my little tiny screen here. So, but, and then, then the, then this, 100, 141,000, that's without premium. We've got premium, it'd be like 230,000. And the extra is uh, about 1,800 like XP. And that's without the premium. So, I mean, all in all, I mean, literally I did like, I think like 600 damage. Uh, it's so small I can barely see it though. But like 600 damage, that's not bad at all. That's, I mean, for this mech, for, for what I did to it, I think I, I think I spent like two, 2.5 million in upgrades. I mean, literally that's a great time. But anyways, thank you for watching. I really appreciate you watching. Definitely, um, uh, go ahead and share, go ahead and, uh, go ahead and like, um, and go ahead and, uh, Go ahead and subscribe too if you like my channel. And uh, we'll see you on the flip side. Really appreciate you watching, man. It's it's great knowing that I actually don't talk to myself and actually have a fun time talking to you guys. If you have any questions, just leave them down below. Have a good night. Target acquired.